culinary world, chefs are constantly trying to evolve their dishes in an effort to take them to the next level. Today, I'm going to throw my hat in the ring by contributing my next level dish, a wonder of molecular gastronomy, a peanut butter cup explosion. In molecular gastronomy, chefs have started asking why. No longer do we cook things because some chef 300 years ago said this was the best way to do it. And in doing this, we've opened up our minds to culinary dishes that are not only flavorful, but are also fun to eat as well. Now today, we're going to do a little kitchen magic by using what's called tapioca maltodextrin. Now tapioca maltodextrin is a lot like cornstarch, but instead of thickening water, it thickens fat, essentially absorbing fat into itself and turning it into a powder. Okay, so what makes it magic is the tapioca maltodextrin is completely water soluble, meaning when the powder hits your tongue, it dissolves and turns the powder back into a fat. So for example, if you're gonna mix tapioca maltodextrin with something like, let's say, peanut butter, it would turn the peanut butter into a powder and then back into peanut butter once it hit your tongue. And that is the basis for our peanut butter cup explosion. Now the first step in making peanut butter cup explosion is we have to make our own peanut butter cups. And it's a lot easier than you think. So let's get started. peanut butter cups made, now we need to move on to the science part. Now, no worries if you forgot your lab coat, this part is super simple. Essentially all we're doing is deconstructing a peanut butter cup into the chocolate and the peanut butter filling and then adding maltodextrin in and letting it do all the work. So let's get sciencey.
now that we have all the components of our dish made, now what we need to do is to plate it. Now besides the obvious wow factor of taking your first bite of that powder and having a peanut butter cup or constitute itself in your mouth, is there's a fun aspect of this dish of getting to create your own peanut butter cup by deciding how much chocolate and peanut butter you want to put on your spoon. And you can't do it wrong. Showing you that making good food can be and should be fun as well. So if anyone is interested in trying this recipe out at home, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below of where you can get your own tapioca maltodextrin so you can try this recipe out for yourself. But that's all I have time for this week. So to be kept up to date with all the future episodes, simply click on the bell icon down below and you'll be sent a notification each time a new show comes out so you don't miss a thing. So if you enjoyed this week's episode, please feel free to give that like button some love and subscribe. If you found the video useful, please feel free to share it as it does help this channel grow immensely. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'd love to read them. Recipes, as always, are down in the description box. My name is Chef Matt with Kitchen Instruments, thanking you for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.